it's Friday. <clears throat> the 11th of February. Oh, I said that weird. It's Friday. February. Friday. Welcome back to the channel. Here's Micah. Air freshener also. We are currently at a viewing for our house. Even though we kind of already made a decision. Um, but we already had this appointment scheduled. And I hate canceling on people at the last minute. It made me feel guilty. And I don't like when people do it to me. So to respect time. <clears throat> I said we can, we'll can still come check it out. To respect time. Yeah. But somebody's late. Our realtor is late. So. I think if anything. It would be respecting time if we canceled. Yeah, true, because, yeah. Um, so, in the spirit of time, F time. We get to spend more time together. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so, we're, um, yesterday was a dramatic day. I'm not gonna lie, I probably I somewhat still have a headache from yesterday. Oh, it wasn't that. Bad. It wasn't, but I did cry a lot <laughs> yesterday. But today I work woke up with a new epiphany. And I'll do a we'll go into detail about it later. However, comma, I want you all to know that delayed does not mean denied. And I, and I tend to go on the extreme side of that. And it literally like takes me a day to kind of step back and reevaluate, reevaluate some things. And typically, for me personally, when I have been delayed on some things, he's special. When I have been delayed on some things, what I get <clears throat> in return is so much more better than what i originally wanted so we are going to view this house with our realtor um our decision now is we are going to wait for a new construction that i fell in love with maybe in august i want to say august time frame fell in love with the community the houses the area um yeah, I just liked the neighborhood. Honestly, love the neighborhood because see, like, our family growing there and all. So, um, they recently they sold out a year ahead of time of what they thought they would sell out for their new um for their new construction. But um, <clears throat> they are gonna start phase three like in a few months. So that'll just give us enough time to build our savings. Uh, me to wiggle some stuff with our credit report and so on and so forth. So our realtor just got here. So we're about to take a peek at the house.
Oh, it looked like the light is a dimmer. Oh, no, this is the fan. See? All right, so excuse this brief impromptu. <laughs> it's gonna look different in between this and the next clip because I went back in my phone to like edit the video to upload it, y'all. And why? Let me get this light right, y'all. Why? Um, I had a photo. It was just talking. So I thought that I at least had some clips before it cut. No, I didn't. So in this next clip, you'll see Micah and I discussing like quick flips of the property and final thoughts. Um, what we were saying prior to <clears throat> um, the sun is setting, so the light is probably going to be thrown all, all off. And I, okay, what we were saying prior to um, my mishap is that we, the house is a nice house. We like the area, we like the community. Um, we, house is nice, like the area, like community. Oh, the yard is nice. Um, it comes with all the appliances. Um, overall, it's a good home. The home is nice. Um, it would be a great first home. Um, <clears throat> the things that, we have to think about is there are certain things that we will want to update um literally immediately um they have like dark burgundy cabinets in the kitchen that's a no we would need to redo those even if we can just refinish them and i would want to art add hardware on there so basically i would want to modernize the house basically um so doing that the carpet was clean, but you can tell like carpet that has been there for a while. Cause even if it's clean, like those stains as deep in is in, in, and with little kids, y'all with kids, I can't do carpet in the common area that has already been said. So that would be something like we would pull up literally all the carpet in the house, replace the carpet in the bedrooms, and then <clears throat> use like the towel, hardwood, faux hardwood flooring. Um, so the immediate projects would be carpet and then painting um because the painting are like these walls kind of are darkish like a lighter tan um and some dark burgundy y'all i mentioned before i don't know if y'all got this but you can tell i might say it in the next clip because it happened but i don't know if y'all can get this but i said you can tell um a home owner how old they are based on like the color choice of the <clears throat> of the walls i'm gonna leave that where it's at um so those are two things that we will immediately want to change um and then those cabinets y'all that dark that burgundy i'm just like it don't even match like the countertops the countertops are granite like a dark granite and i don't know why they matched it with burgundy i don't, I don't know um and then projects later on would be updating all the light fixtures <clears throat> and maybe updating some of the features in the master bed in the master bathroom um so we have to add that into the cost of the house now previously you already kind of know that we already said it is what it is i want the dream finders home um the new construction home so but we did tell our realtor that we don't mind making an offer on the home um don't think we're going to get it y'all the asking cost is 295 we're willing to offer five above asking but based on this market research how fast these houses are going i don't think we're gonna i don't think we're gonna get it. i think they're probably gonna get way below um 
I think they're gonna get way above what they asked for. Cause I mean, it is a four bedroom, two bath and the backyard is beautiful. And it has, they even left like the tiki bar in there. So based on that, I don't think we're gonna get it. But however, like I said before, delayed does not mean uh, denied. So you'll see the next clip with me and Micah's final thoughts. Um, <clears throat> and I even said then like, we wanted to show you the authentic journey of going through home buying it's not easy um and it's not always quick sometimes you gotta make wait so anytime we view a home anytime we talk to the realtor anything anything thing, time something anytime anything changes we'll come to you all with an update um for those of you who don't know i do have a I, I don't want to say credit repair business, but <clears throat> I do help people repair their credit. Um, by helping us, I don't do the credit repair. I give you the tools and I'll offer you a consultation for free, a 15 minute consultation to, to tell you, you know, what I see that can be fixed, that can kind of help you along the way. And then I have kits I sell with the um, information in there. Now, anytime where you getting replies back and you don't necessarily know what your next steps, I offer those services like, okay, yeah. <clears throat> This is what I think you should do next. Or, you know, just wait it out. You're on track going this. Um, but that's what I do. Right now, I do not have the time to individually do credit repair. And the reason why I mention that is prior to getting this house, my score was like in the low 500, y'all. I've dealt with identity theft. Somebody that I knew jacked up my credit Horribly, so horribly to the point where I almost not got my, I almost didn't get my security clearance when I was in the Navy. Um, but luckily I had some chiefs that fought for me and were willing to work hard because honestly, like when the stuff was up there, I was clueless. And even the guy was just like, yeah, like you've been doing this, like there's no way that this can be yours. So literally repairing for that when I went through my divorce prior to that, um, there was like, he didn't have, he was out of, he had just got in the military, was out of work. I was the only one providing at the time. And we, and it was a struggle and my credit suffered then. So for the past year, I've been like hitting it, hitting it hard. I did it myself. I didn't pay anybody to do it. Um, it takes time. It takes patience. But I am at the point where I got approved for a home loan. Um, so... If I can do it, trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. So if you want those resources, if you need those resources, I'll link my website below. Um, you can email me at info at mastermycreditscore.com for a free 15 minute consultation. Um, I'll leave my link to that below. That's a shameless plug, y'all. Um, <laughs> just the shameless plug part. That's it. Yeah, it's a plug. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind. Like I said, if you need help, reach out, reach out to me. Um, and that's it. So enjoy the clips outside net since I forgot to, since my jet, since I jacked up the video. All right. <laughs> I don't know where I left off in the video y'all. Cause when I ch checked, it was on a picture. <laughs> so you might've missed half of that conversation. Um, so we were talking about oh, quick yeah, clips. It didn't look like it does now. Yeah. Uh, and it was going dark and I was like, why the camera going dark? It don't never go dark. I'm so smart. I don't even know where we left off. So anywho, we were talking about investment companies coming up and buying some of these properties. So I think like a company like Open Door would offer them money, update it, and then put it right back on the market for for more expensive for a higher cost. Yeah. Think they gonna get more than two ninety five for it? Yeah. Hell, I think they gonna get more than three hundred thousand for it. I think so too. So that's why I said, at that rate, we are already outbid it. Is she shit? Okay. No, he's not. I swear it looked like they was squatting, taking a dump. And then when he got up, it was like. Pine cones. Yeah. Needles. <laughs> Brown. What is she putting in? 
What are you doing? Oh boy, I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> So, you gotta go, you gotta go. So yeah, we put in the offer, highly doubt we'll get it. At that point, if the offer, if our offer isn't accepted, we are just gonna wait for that new construction. But what if it is? Dun, dun, dun. I ain't think about that. <laughs> I just, based on. How are you, how you be so fixated on the negatives? That the positive don't even occur. I'm not fixated on the. I think I know why. I'm not fixated on the negatives. You probably do know why. I don't think I'm fixated on the negatives. I have literally been researching and like watching videos and reading articles, probably for honesty, Bay for about six months now. Yep, sounds about right. Based on that knowledge, and yes, it's just internet knowledge that I have gained. It's not being negative. It's being realistic. What? That you gonna get out bed? Yeah. Oh. Know what time it is? What? Peanut butter jelly time. Did you get jelly? I did. You got bread? He been talking about peanut butter. <laughs> Cause I asked you, did you get bread? Hmm? Oh, you looked at me weird when I said, did you get bread? Mm -mm. I mean. I bread. I'm sorry, I keep rolling my lips. I feel like it look crusty on this video. But um I don't know how to do all that. And I don't edit these YouTube videos. I literally just plug them into iMovie, add my intro, add my outro, and just upload it. <laughs> y'all, for those real YouTubers that out there that got the time to do it, I give y'all props because I cannot. <clears throat> Maybe one day when i get to a thousand subscribers but i think you subscribe. all like it yes subscribe i think you all subscribe. like it now like like now so subscribe he's special he's about to fix the sandwich and then go get the babe and then yeah that's it um, I'll do a another video explaining why I was down in the dumps <clears throat> on yesterday. So, wish us much luck on this process. Don't know how long it'll take, but we will bring you all along with us. Get it close up a bit. Okay. We will um bring you all <clears throat> with us on this journey. And honestly, probably this is gonna be more realistic on this. So you can actually see like the ups, downs, literally how long it takes um for in today's market. Um I am going to close this vlog out i'm doing um proctoring acts tomorrow so i gotta sign up and do everything i needed for that i still have homework to do and i gotta make dinner so until next time you all what's that cough drop paper <laughs> see